What do you get when you mix Alien and the Evil Dead? You get... <laughs> Welcome to the horror show To realize there is no room to run Don't know who came to try There are lies that in your life Welcome to the horror show To realize there is no room to run Don't know who came to try Obsessions will be your mind Creepazoids. This is the pure definition for a movie that is so bad, it's decent. Now, before I get started, I must give a shout-out to Kevin Lamb for guessing what movie I'm reviewing now. He guessed several movies, and then he guessed Creepazoid. So shout-out to you, man. The plot! Five runaways in an apocalyptic war find themselves trapped in a facility when a radioactive rain storm occurs outside. There, strange things begin to happen, and they get picked off one by one. Cliché. Now, you'd probably be thinking, oh, there's only five main characters, this movie ought to be short. And you'd be right! Running at only 72 minutes, I was actually expecting more when the movie was over. The ending scene did drag on for five minutes too long, in my opinion, though, so I guess I really wasn't expecting more. I was expecting for it to end quicker. And the movie just kind of ends with no clear resolution, just to set up for a possible sequel that's never happened. Now, you'd also probably be thinking, oh, there's only five main characters. This ought to be ungory. Well, this time you're wrong. While not being nearly as gory as The Evil Dead, it was still gorier than Alien, and that had some disturbing ass scenes in it too. Come on, you know that already. The effects are awesome, and the main alien baddie is a neat spectacle, I will not lie. There is also a mutated baby that pops up at the end out of nowhere for extra padding, maybe. I told you it went on too long! And I must say that the mutated baby looks really good and really creepy. Ew. This movie takes itself seriously at some point, but it's all in good fun, and that translates well onto film. Now, some of the pacing and acting is less than to be desired, but it is still a fun time, and that's all it really needs to be. I think if they made the movie maybe ten minutes longer, then it would have felt more complete, as long as the extra ten minutes wasn't extra padding. Overall, I give Creepazoids a 2.5 out of 5. Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviewers. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe.